Chalmers WD started. Hasn't ran in quite a while. I'm not really sure, but uh, at least 10 years, I'll say. And uh, it's 1951 model. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna take you around, show you what you gotta do to get something like this going. Well, we're putting battery in here, you know, because it's got electric start. So we can, so I don't have to crank it the wrong way and get yelled at by the YouTube. They like to do that. <clears throat> I know I should probably have a half inch wrench, but you know. It is what it is. Pop this uh, distributor cap off. Have a look, see what's going on under there. build up on these terminals. There, now there's a clean spot. That's actually what it came with the magneto. You see, according to the hood, it ran in 1994. Look at these 10 years. Yeah, that was only what, 26 years ago? Yep. Time fun. Yep. those scraped up so they should be more willing to accept electricity this isn't horrible but I can use a shining up I'm gonna use my screwdriver tip again because I have it with me just scratch off the carbon get shiny wire brush will work better for this I don't have one of them though. Not with me. So we'll do it this way. Right. And there's our corroded points. How corroded are they? Well, they're green. See them down there? <laughs> well, they're green with envy. Thank you, John Deere. There, see? You open that up and, you know, it's hitting something, but yeah. Huh. They're all kinds of green and white looking. Like oh, a greenish, cool. chalky white green. Mm. Like mold almost. Mm. Well, yeah. that's corrosion. Oh, it's glory. Well, found my wire brush. So I'm gonna go after this again. Even though it'd work with the screwdriver. If you're in a pinch, you could use that. I've done that before. That's worked, but since I found the appropriate tool, we'll get after it with that. Nicest way to clean this stuff is to put a uh, on your bench grinder and put a wire wheel. So that's just like. <laughs> <laughs> but in a pinch, drop it into a pile yeah, of snow. Yeah, drop it in the snow, that'll work the best. Yeah, see? <laughs> Alright, now I found a, got my spark plug socket. We're gonna pull out spark plugs, see what they look like. 
Oh, that came out relatively easily. So, you know, if you're clean it all, and it'll be your best bet for success. My rubber thing fell out of the socket, so don't have it. There you go, we got all kinds of uh, carbon on there. So, yeah, clean these up and get them shiny and with a wire brush, of course. And it's not like, you know, mirror finish. It, it cleans a lot faster if you got a uh, wire wheel mounted in your bench grinder, but we don't have that option, this works. <laughs> I don't have my gapper, otherwise I'd gap them too. But, in theory it ran with these once, so it should run with them again, right? Yeah, the last time it, you used it, it ran. Yep, exactly. Yeah, so there's one. Add that back in. Gotta do that three more times. Yep, that was our starter doing. Terrible. Mm, you look all wet. No, I don't. Mm -hmm. Wet behind the ears. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, oh, that's good. I found one problem we're gonna have. What's that? Might have to drain the oil first. Uh oh. So this this should be under the oil filter and not just broken and dangling down here. So you can mm. See it here. Yeah. So if we start, it's probably gonna be like out the side here. Oh, cool. Maybe we can thread a new one on, but. Seems kind of stupid. <laughs> Run dirty oil through a new filter. What do you like better, a WD or a WD-45? WD-45. And why is that? Because it got more power. Yep, power creator. Hey, if you look down in the bottom there for it cleaned up, I knocked all this poop off. See? See all that green stuff laying down there? My, my tip is here. Mm -hmm. See that moving? Yep. Oh yeah, I knocked all that off of here. That will stop it from trying to run. You know? Mm-hmm. So, that's what you gotta do when somebody says they're cleaning the points. So what do you think of all these little modifications? They're terrible. Oh yeah? Like what? The light. You don't like the light? No. Why not? Because it's mm -hmm. annoying. And mm -hmm. it wobbles everywhere. Okay. What about our fancy shifter lever? Mm, it's kind of dumb. Oh yeah? And the starter switch? Um, that's dumb too. Oh yeah? Mm -hmm. What about the pedals? Do you like that extra no. extra foot leverage there? No. No? How many years have you been driving a WD? Uh, four. Wow. You're kind of an expert. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Alright, clean the points. I'm going to reassemble the, uh, don't forget this piece because that will hamper your starting abilities. But, uh, yeah. Okay, I'll put the distributor back together. And then I'm just going to use my inline spark tester. See if there's any spark. We just have to crank it over, you know, like mm -hmm. four times or so. Right, about eight times because we're going to have to have to switch one way or the other. Yep. Starter! Nice starter. Alright. So, uh, switch is out, right? Or is it in? That don't really matter. We'll just try it that way and then we'll try it the other way. I see nothing. Alright, I'll try it the other way. Alright, try it again. Keep going. Yeah, I don't see nothing there either. Nope. Bypass! Yeah, I would get bypass it. Alright. Well, I hooked my uh, pot, well it's a positive jumper cable lead to the negative side of the battery. Then I ran it over here and clamped it on where the switch would come in to the coil. Right? Yep. And then if you listen, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but you can see it arcing off my screwdriver tip. Yep. Yeah. So I think we need a new switch. So we cleaned the points on here and there's electricity making it there. 
with the jumper cable hot wiring job we got going on. Yeah. So now we're gonna try to start it on a carb cleaner. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. So yeah, you want to pull that lever, get her spinning. <laughs> Is that a gear? Yep. I would have moved by now. Mm. I think that made a difference. Yeah. Doing nothing. Oh, oh there it goes. There we go. Ready? Give pull. Now that is an impressive poor job. Good thing this can was a ball. Oh yeah. I think that's bright enough, right? <laughs> Might as well do the whole can. Yeah. Right. That's some of the most minimal spillage I've ever seen. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh geez. It's all over yeah, now. That's a mess. <laughs> Put this away in case you blow us. Okay. This is that drain thinger. Take off this to your sediment bowl, give it a clean. She's pretty uh, killer. <laughs> Check this out. Previous owner's homemade sediment bowl gasket we got here. A piece of inner tube or something. Old, nice solid piece of rubber <laughs> so yeah we'll see cut a hole in there and uh yeah well hopefully that'll seal all right we're gonna take the uh carburetor cleaner and we're clean this sediment bowl up you know clean the outside first i'll do that this way Set that on. Get a little bit of this on here and then, uh, yeah, start wiping. We're gonna apply some in here and just let it soak for a little while because that stuff's on there pretty good. Just like that, like a shot. Yep. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, we gotta fill up. Good gas, actually. <laughs> good. This is a good day. Wow. Oh, yeah. That's that, sealed, that gasket is doing zero. Sealed really well today. Oh, oh. Slip fitting down. Yep. Over past the end of the little pipe here. Yep. We're going to slide this rubber hose over that pipe. Yep. And the clamper. Because it's having both leaking terribly. Yeah. See that on film? I'm gonna move my stuff though. 
There's the risk of it all falling in the snow. It smells like ether too. I don't think gas is getting to the carburetor though. I mean it is, but it ain't getting through the carburetor. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> you ready? Well, uh, we had gas running to the carburetor. I mean, I guess I don't know if the line's plugged or not, but we'll take it off. We'll find out because gas should dribble out. But I'm going to take the carburetor off here. Yep. So we can, because uh, it probably needs to be cleaned. I was hoping we'd get away without it. You know, it might pop or something for us, but fuel wasn't even making it down there. So we're going to. I'm gonna take this carburetor apart. Hopefully it don't tear the gasket. If it does, it'll just leak a teeny bit more. Cause most of the gas is contained down here. But take my trusty screwdriver. Soap. Take out all these screws. See what it looks like inside. I know. There's four in this carburetor. Pretty much all the carburetors I've taken apart have four. Except for like John, John Deere carburetors. They got one big nut on the bottom. Yeah, those John Deere is kind of kind of weird. Yep. You still see orange paint. Mm. Oh yeah, there it is. That don't look horrible. But there's corrosion up here. Ooh. Fancy. Yeah, needle stuck. Needle stuck. Yep. All right, that's our problem. Yep. See, that's our only problem. I don't know. It's probably got stuff in it. The jets too, but mm -hmm. that's why the gas ain't going in. See, you can see down there. There's supposed to be an opening. Right in here. See that? Yep. That's your main. I believe that's the main jet where the fuel comes into that. You know. Yep. So yeah, that's full of junk and then yeah that's part of the problem but no no fuel actually got in here because otherwise it would have spilled all out when I took it apart yep you know so yeah no the jet stuck well this is round two of us trying to start this it's been like four months since we tried to start it the first time we had some technical difficulties for some reason it wasn't making spark I'm not 100% sure why. I just put in a new coil and points and everything. And then and then I checked it after that and it had spark. So this is one of those. And then, uh, then yeah. So now we're gonna see if she'll start for us. Button. Here's to a successful project. Oh, and here's to our two two missing members. Luke who's at work and Nolan who's probably at school. Hi Wade. Yeah, you do. <laughs> so yeah, now all we gotta do is change the oil, new oil filter. Fill up the radiator, Maple new manifold, 
um, new rim. Yeah. And then we should be good to go. So. Yeah. On to the next project.